Okay, wait, so... Hang on. How do I go back? <laughs> I just need to see something really- Because Amir is the last one I did. So, I'm on to Tooth? Yeah, Amir's the last one I did. I guess we're on to Tooth now. Okay, but I could have sworn I did another chapter, an extra chapter called Tooth in the very first Corpse Party game. So I don't know if this is the same scenario or not. I know Blood Drive is new. Don't know if Tooth is. Let's just see what happens. Let's see how disappointed I might be. <sighs> Bagan Senior High School Student Council Room, 4.30 p.m. It's the same thing, isn't it? Hey, Mr. President, don't forget about tomorrow. What's tomorrow? Please tell me I can kick you. Absolutely not. So what's that? Okay, yeah, this is- wait, hang on. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> yeah, I return back to title. I gotta, I gotta see now. I gotta see. I, I have to look up now. Okay, yeah, so I technically already played Tooth, so I'm not going to replay it, even if it does probably have better graphics as far as a stylized character. Actually, I think the characters are the same, are the same style. It's just the main characters were in that weird, really big-eyed, chibi kind of form thing. So I'm going to skip Tooth. I've technically already done it. Uh, so we're going to go to Blood Drive. It's the final chapter in this series. Uh, I don't remember what's after this one. I have my list, not with me at the moment. But, I don't even know if, it's gonna be, if that's even out yet, but we'll focus on that later. Right now we're doing this. Blood Drive. I am not excited. This title sounds horrible. <sighs> this is new. Prologue for the blood. We didn't have a title for prologue or the- Hi, Naomi. And you know what my kid told me? He said the incident was connected with that underground website that's gotten really popular at his school. I think I heard about that now in the news a while back. Profiles being used for bullying, defined dates. Is that kind of stuff still going on? What? Naomi? Well, the news has stopped covering it, but it's still happening from what I hear. I wonder if my kid goes on any websites like that. Maybe I should talk to him about it. It was late afternoon, right around the time students were returning home from school, and here I was again. Standing right in front of the intercom at the store to Psycho's house. I've been here for over an hour now, standing, staring, wondering whether I should push that button. It must have looked really suspicious, especially since I'd been here yesterday and the day before too, and each time I wound up just going home. But today would be different. That's why I told myself. Today I'd actually push that intercom button. I was ready to face my demons. Okay. Oh. Kids laughing? Oh no. Hey, you two can't just run off like that. That was you, Psycho's younger brother. <laughs> Alright, line up. Make sure you've gotten your shoes on tight. There we go. Hey, straighten that hat. Very good. I think we're ready now. Take my hand, please. Now you think you two can behave at the market. Okay, Aya? Uh-huh. You bet. That's what I like to hear. I made sure I had out of sight while they were leaving the house. You and those other two kids were definitely Psycho's younger siblings. They were the reasons I'd come. They're the ones I wanted to see. I had no idea what I'd say to them, but I knew for sure that Psycho existed, so I had to say something. Maybe I show them the cell phone picture and tell them, hey, this is your sister, and ask if they remember anything about her. I don't, I don't know if you really should show that because one, they probably don't remember, and two, that's a very f freaky image, so that's not going to help much in your case of not being insane. I'm just saying. It'd be okay. I just need to explain myself. They'd understand. They had to. I made up my mind. Now is the perfect chance. I stepped out from my hiding place. Hey! I barely made out a single word before I felt someone grab my arm grab my arm from behind, holding me back. What the fuck? Who's there? Ayumi? Don't do this. Don't do it. Class rep. I understand where you're coming from. But you can't do this. 
Our class rep, Shinazaki, was shaking her head at me. She was determined to stop me from, from conf confronting Psycho's family. My vision was starting to blur. What do you plan to say to them? You know how it's going to turn out. Oh. But, but... Oh, God. I couldn't hold back my tears any longer. I squatted on the ground and looked up at the class rep who was staring back at me with equally glassy eyes. God, this sucks. There are only a handful of people in the world who could truly understand what I was going through. Only those of us who returned from Heavenly Host Elementary alive. Only Shinazaki, Satoshi, Kishinuma, and Yuka. Oh, Yuka's here. I guess she did survive the first time around. As for those who lost their lives there, Saiko, Suzumoto, Morishigi, and Mishishido, they came back to find that their very existence was wiped clean from this world entirely. <coughs> Sob. <coughs> I'm... A sob's a cough. <coughs> We're going with that, right? <coughs> Nakashima, hey. I was walking home, defeated and dejected, with the classroom at my side when suddenly she addressed me. It sounded like she wanted to tell me something. I've been doing research these last couple of weeks. At the library, looking up information about Shinazaki estate. Okay, class rep. I love you dearly. But it's kind of your fault first off that you found the fucking website that had the botched up charm. You know that it was a mistake. I understand that you're tied to the occult in some way, but my god, don't even go any further than this. That's the house where Yoshi and Sachiko Shinozaki lived. The place that the beings in control of Heavenly Hosts once called home. You might recall that the newspaper articles we found about the kidnapping and murder incident gave precious little information about the Sachiko. And aside from local papers, nobody even bothered covering the news about Yoshi's death at all. Digging up this information was no small feat. She was looking down at her feet and kept a steady, quiet tone the whole time she was talking. It seemed like this was all leading up to something. Something stupid, I'm sure. But she was kind of an expert when it came to ghosts and the occult and such, so I trusted her. God, you should not. I wanted to know where she was going with this. It seems Yoshi Shinazaki's former home is here, in this per per Pref prefect what prefecture i bought it up it's in the outskirts by the mountains her home like yoshi's and sachiko's yep right in our backyard it's that close why why are you surprised your your high school is built off of the ground where heavenly host once stood right i'm not dumb that's right what okay yeah heavenly host wants to I just had to wait. I had to wait and my answer was going to be given to me in the next sentence over. <laughs> God damn it. Heavenly Host once stood where Kisaraki is now, after all. And since Yoshi Shinozaki worked there, it makes sense her home wouldn't be too terribly far away. Okay. Naho mentioned in her notes, too, remember? Because I would totally trust Naho. Because she didn't fuck anyone over. God, no. She didn't put a horrible charm curse up on the internet for anybody to find because she wanted her precious senpai to have more fucking studies so he could do more research to become a better paranormal person. Never mind the fact that she killed him. <sighs> anyway... There were, that's where she salvaged the original Sachiko's proxy for the ritual. So yeah, seems like a good place for us to find something, don't you think? What are you going to find? The origin of Shinazaki's family curse rests within those walls, and I believe there must be some clue there that could help us shed light on it. She had my full attention now. I swallowed hard as if I were talk taking it all in. I got an address, too. If we take the train, we can be there in less than an hour. So what do you say, Nakashima? Let's go check it out, right now. Kids, don't ever do this. It's a terrible idea. I I'm I'm not even like playing this up for laughs. Don't ever do shit like this, ever. Just just don't. Just just take it from me. Just don't do this. Yeah, sure. Let's go. The Shinazaki Estate. I was haunted by my memories of Heavenly Host, and this would enta entail visiting the source of it all. But the danger would be far greater. Yet somehow. Lead on, class rep. So this could be the two of you? It was right around 4.30 in the afternoon. And that's the time that we died. <laughs> the day was already cooling into tonight, and the sun would surely be setting shortly after we arrived at our destination. But neither of us really cared. 
Didn't care that our families would be worried. Didn't care about the fact we were going into possible danger. No one else is coming with us. I just don't know what to do. I just wanted to be there as soon as humanly possible. If there were, were even the slightest chance of finding answers, I'd welcome it. Even if you find answers, it's not going to bring psycho- I am picking apart this entire scene bit by bit because everything is just so stupid. We're never going to get past this. The two of us went right to the station, hopped on the very next train we could find out to the countryside, grasping at straws for what we- for all we were worth. I hate this idea. I began to wish I'd gone back to change clothes before we left. But if I had done that, I'd have to explain to my mom where I was going. I sincerely doubt she would have been- would- would have- been enabled sure to the idea that's not what that word is i said that wrong but whatever it always has just gone away anyway of course but then i would i would be directly disobeying my mother and undoubtedly making her worry sick about me she's gonna be worried sick about you regardless you're not gonna be home and home the class rep and i were seated next to each other on a local commuter train i'd never ridden before there were only two other passengers which like us they were simply staring down at the ground and writing in silence lost in their own thoughts Hi, song. I was not actually expecting lyrics. Okay. The last couple of weeks had been brutal. All five of us who survived were feeling it. We were more exhausted than we'd ever been in our entire lives. And this was just high school! But no matter how, cra how crazy people said we were, no matter how much our souls ached from the memories, we could never forget Psycho and the others. Every photo we had of them, though, be it on film or digital, had had its face blacked out completely. And the scariest, saddest thing I could imagine was the passage of time, because eventually, I knew I'd had trouble remembering what they looked like. Listen. I want to run something by you. We're the only ones who have any memory of Miss Yuisa and Mono Shinohara and Morishigi, right? Because if you die in Heavenly Host, it's as if you never existed in the first place. You're erased from the collective memory of everyone in the real world. Why was she bringing this up? I just looked down my knees, trying unsuccessfully to fight back the tears that were rolling up in my eyes yet again. Well, I have a look- have a look at this. Naho's- Nah, it's another world. It's just that spirit Mirdim girl's blog, right? Doesn't anything seem odd about it to you? Yeah, it still exists. I brought this up in the, uh, uh, fourth chapter? I don't remember now. The blog's file entry was the one detailing the Sachiko Ever After ritual, but we already knew that- that. There were no updates after it because- Wait, didn't Naho die? Right? The class rep nodded and looked into my eyes. Naho lost her life in Heavenly Host Elementary School, just like everyone else. But how could that be? I'm not sure of the reason, but this is proof positive. Proof that everyone who dies in the school gets erased from existence. I still feel like it's Sachiku like, pulling the string saying, You know what? You put this up on your blog for everyone to read. We're going to keep it up. I checked on her mentor, Mr. Kabiki, too. He also died in Heavenly Host. But just like Naho, there's some, still ample record of his existence. Again, it's still it's still connected. It still works for in Sachiko's favor. I was literally on the edge of my seat, leaning in close and hanging on to her, her every word. She flashed me a smile. Okay, wait, before we go any further, I, I'm really not going to get through this very fast. I can already tell. I have a theory. Like I said before, the reason why the blog and Mr. Kabiki are still remembered is because the blog... Is tied to Mr. Kabiki and is tied to Sachiko. The charm that that is used to t to bring people to Heavenly Host is beneficial beneficial to Sachiko. Plus, Sachiko le left Naho alone. All the ghosts left Naho alone, and I could not find Mr. Kabiki anywhere. The camera guy was still alive, but I'm pretty sure he died at the end too. But it's like Sachiko leaves. People who benefit her and her end goal, she leaves them alone. Everyone else in every other timeline, even if they haven't died in one, have died in others, she continually screws with them. She tries to kill them because that's just her end goal. But with Naho, it works in her favor. So why erase Naho when you can keep her memory alive and have more people come? Right? I'm not stupid in this. Maybe I am. I'm not sure. So let's not give up hope, okay? We're gonna give up a lot of hope. Okay, we're, we're gonna fucking die. I was crying hard now, but for the first time since we come back, I can see the tiniest, faintest glimmer of hope in the darkness. <laughs> Excuse me. 
It wasn't much to go on, but it was easily the best news I heard in two weeks. It made me feel a lot better about this imp impromptu trip. I feel terrible. Even just this one vague clue improved our chances of finding something at the Shinazaki estate significantly. At least now, we knew what to look for. No, no, not really. Wait. Hold on. This was in one of Naho's dream flash thingies, right? Not arriving at Kishi, Kishi Station. Guess we're here. Man, we're really out of the bo out of the boonies, aren't we? The air smells so delicious. It's nice, isn't it? We're fortunate to get here while there's still some light left. We should find the estate before it gets dark. Yeah. Whose phone was ringing, by the way? It wasn't mine. There's with the end of the line, a desolate farming community with nothing but farmhouses and fields as far as I could see. God, that's pretty. Oh, it's so pretty. I lived in the countryside once in my life. And I did enjoy it a lot. I would go back there, but it's kind of a drive to get anywhere to my job. So maybe not so much right now. Plus, there's no apartments in the countryside. What am I saying? There's only one main road due to the mountainside setting of the picturesque village and maintained a gradual upward slope the whole way. Not a lot of people around. Yeah, and here I was kind of hoping we could meet one of the locals and ask some questions. Hey, remember that mom who disappeared and died, or the mom who died and the child who disappeared? Got any information on that? Can we go to, like, ring territories? Evidently, the Shinozaki family had a lot of clout here. Clout? Clout. Here once, and we are, were held in high esteem. Really? Since you're a Shinozaki too? Okay, good. I wonder if you have some distant ancestry in common with them or something. I guess it's possible, but there are, are an awful lot of Shinazakis in Japan, you know. That's true. So were you ended the right way? I think it's this way, yeah. But to be honest, the address I found didn't have a house number, so I'm not entirely sure. Oh, but what about your cell phone? Doesn't it have the GPS thing? Can we use that to figure out where we're going? God, what a time where the phone didn't really have GPS. Ugh, oh, memories. I already tried, but looks like there's no map data on the file for this area, which is actually very strange. If you say so. Oh, fuck. We're walking into a trap, I feel like. The road was paved the whole way, but it was full of cracks and holes, resulting in countless tiny pebbles and patches of sand crunching under our feet. And the darker it got, the more noticeable the sound of the uneven terrain became. There was something unsettling about the idea of two schoolgirls in uniform walking through a strange, largely deserted village at the cusp of twilight. I don't know why, but I loved that sentence. Hey, I really think we should stop and ask someone for directions. How about we pay that house a visit? She was pointing at the one the, of the isolated farms, farmhouses directly in front of us. Sounds good. It's getting dark after all. Let's pick up the pace. Yes, this is a bad idea. Excuse me. Hello? Maybe they're not home. Let's try someplace else. Okay. Ah. That scared the crap out of me. What was that? Ah. Yeah, I don't like this. Let's get away from here. I knew it's a little I know it's a little unsettling, but if we don't get some information, we'll never find this place. So come on, let's try asking that one. This time she was pointing at the slightly more invited looking residence nearby, sporting a blue roof. That one? That one. Anyway. Hello? Hello, is anyone home? That actually is kind of creepy. Yes? Ah, um. Good evening, miss. We're a bit lost. We'd be grateful if you could help us find our way. I could see the figure of a middle-aged woman through the frosted glass door. I wasn't sure if she was actually going to open it for us, given that we were strangers and she was, by all appearances, a woman alone in an isolated house. She opened the door. What's all this, then? Ah, good evening. I'm sorry to bother you so late. We've come this way from Fujisawa and we're trying to find a certain residence. Oh my, what cute little visitors! And coming all this way and the sun going down, no less. Thank goodness she seemed like a perfectly normal, perfectly kind old woman. I took my place next to the class rep and bowed my head in respect. That's, that's how all, all horror movies start. I mean, technically this horror was a horror game, so like not much change is going to be happening, but I don't like this. So where is it you two are trying to go then? I'm trying to reach this address, but I don't have a house number. This is all I know. Let's see. What business do you have with the Shinazaki estate? 
uh, um, actually, we're investigating something, right? Oh, yeah, that's right. It's uh, for school assignment. The old lady's demeanor changed in an instant. She made herself as large as she could and began pushing us out of her house. Uh, miss, is something wrong? Get out! Go on! Get out of here! Wh what? I still see you. You're not very cleverly hidden. What was that all about? Just saying the word Shinazaki state seemed to send her off the deep end. This could be a problem. No, oh, you think? The day was fading fast. The sky was still blue for now, but it was getting darker by the minute. Streetlights were popping on all around us. Just before I find another house, there must be someone around here who will tell us what we need to know. Yeah, you'd think. Uh. Huh? That old lady is still staying there, right inside the door. Oh god, you're right. Why? Is she watching us still? Let's go, okay? This is getting really creepy. She seemed like such a kind old woman, too, when we first answered the door. But now she felt like now she felt menacing. The sudden change was almost staggering. 6.30, huh? Yeah. We walked for quite a while after that. The fields and trees were becoming more plentiful, with houses becoming a much rarer sight. The roads and climb had gotten a lot steeper, too. We were literally climbing a mountain now, and the likelihood of finding the house we sought... <coughs> Or any house at all seemed to be lessening, lessening with every step. Ah, oh, car coming. Watch out, Nimiz Akashima. Thanks. We pushed ourselves against the guardrail and the wave of the car approaching from behind to pass before we continued our trek. It's slowing, isn't it? Hey, what are a couple of schoolgirls doing in a place like this? It's dangerous to be walking on the road, you know? They made a pickup pull alongside us and an older gentleman stuck his head out the window. He seemed like a sociable sort. Um, we we're actually looking for the Shinazaki residence, if you have any idea where that is. Shinazaki? Ah. Yeah, the old Shinazaki estate. It's up that away, deep in the mountains. Just up ahead? Yep. Well, that's good. We've been going the right way after all. Yeah, but it's a way is in there. If yin's walk in If- What? If yin's? What, the, what is that? If yin's a walk in the- If yin's- Cut this fucking sentence. If yin's is a walk- well, sure, it's gonna take you a good long while. I don't know what business you got in a place like that, but hop in if you want. I'll take you up. The class rep and I looked at one another square in the eyes. He seemed a little shady, but it was getting pretty late. And as I say, beggars can't be choosers. A beggars could die if they do something stupid like this. We wouldn't get another opportunity like this. So we thanked the old man and got in his truck. I didn't mean to decide that. Hi. Hey, truck's supposed to be a three-seater, but it's kind of crowded. Sorry about that. It's quite all right. We're very grateful. If we, keep on if we kept on walking, it would have been nighttime before we knew it. Well, I'm sure I, I sure ain't got a lot of business up in the old Shinazaki estate in the mountain these days. Why are you two looking to go up there anyhow? Well, I'm not really sure how to put it. Let's just say there's some information we're trying to find. Information? About a nurse who used to live there a long time ago. Her name was Yoshi Shinazaki. Yeah. Oh, no, the music just started over. I'm like, I heard the jump and it ended. I was scared. Yeah, back in the day, it used to be a home run clinic, it did. Lots of people went up there all the time. But nobody goes near it anymore. Don't know what kind of shape it'll be in. We just kept driving further up the mountain path. And the higher we got, the rougher the ride became. Road, main road maintenance was clearly not a priority here. With four tires on four different elevations at any given point in time, the whole truck is being rocked to its core. Ow! Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Just glad we're wearing my- I was wearing my seatbelt. This is quite the road, isn't it, mister? Ah. The old man's driving was starting to frighten me. I could see Ayumi's head bouncing up and down. I honestly felt like we were gonna- you we were running- we were in a runaway vehicle. Uh, mister, aren't you going a little fast? Ah! Uh, uh. Okay. What happened? Oh. Uh. My heart was beating a mile a minute. There was a person on the road, wasn't it? The class rep and I both gone pale. We looked over at the old man. It's okay. Whatever it was, I didn't hit it. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, good. Good. Thanks for calling my fears on that. What? 
Believe me, you hit a person or an animal on the road, it makes a bigger noise than that. This old man seemed to have gone a little weird now as well. Much like the old woman in town, he was starting he started off so kind and helpful. Who was that in the road? Dunno. Hey, end of the line. Can't go no further by car. You're gonna have to hoof it. You going or you want me to drive you back? Thanks very much, sir. I'll be waiting here. You're gonna wait for us? Okay, I mean, I guess, yay, we get to ride, ride back down to the mountainside and possibly back to town, but jeez. You just come back when you're done. Can't rightly leave you two little girls out here by themselves, after all. Oh, okay. Thank you for your consideration. Class rep, you okay? That was scary. There was definitely something strange about him. But he did say he'll wait for us, so I don't think he's- So I think he's a good person where it counts. Yeah, I guess you're right. The sun was setting rapidly and evening was in full stride. At the top of this uncompromisingly steep road sat Yun Yoshi Shinazaki's home and clinic. Oh, look, it plateaus up ahead. Is that the place? Do we get to see it? We finally made it. Dun dun dun! Is this? There's nothing here. I have to sneeze. Oh my god. Oh, the music's not helping. Okay. No, I think I'm good. Oh, my nose hurts now. This had to be the place. Site of Shinazaki Estate. But there were no houses. There was no house here anymore. The building was torn down. It was just an empty lot. And after, we came all this way, too. Wait, hold up. Look over there. Is that a barn? You're right. I wonder why it's why this is, was spared if the estate wasn't. Let's go into the creepy barn. It was a small barn on the edge of a property. And remarkably, when I flipped the light switch, the lights actually came on. It still had electricity. Is this possible? It's ghosts. Yeah, it's kind of giving me the creeps. Despite our misgivings, we'd gone f far outside our comfort zone to get here. So we set about searching this mysterious barn for any answers. Oh, do I get to search? Hot dog. Okay. What can I fuck up on? It's a hemp sh sack. Oh god, I see enough of these in this game already. Filled to the brim with some kind of grain. Probably feed for farm animals. Cause they had chickens or something here. Yeah. It's an old worn out blanket that someone seems to have left here. Somebody from the outside must have sought shelter here at some point. Oh yeah, maybe. I guess just getting out of the wind isn't enough. And It's starting to get kind of cold here with the sun down. Yeah. Uh... Nope, that way, 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 huh? It's a large drum that seems to have once been used for burning waste products. Nothing but sit and ash inside. I wonder what was burned in here. I don't know. Looks like plain old ash to me, but it could have been anything. There's a mess of old cardboard boxes here along with a rusted toolbox and any number of odd, odds and ends. This doesn't seem to be anything particular, particularly useful or honor among any of them, however. Hey, look, this box has Shinazaki 1 written on it. You're right! I guess that means this really was y Yoshi Shinazaki's house at some point. <laughs> we spent another half an hour or so rifling through the barn from floor to ceiling, looking for anything we could possibly find that might help us. I don't see a single thing in here that sheds any light on Yoshi or Sh 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 <laughs> Sachiko Shinazaki at all. It's full on night outside, too. I mean, we kept that poor old man waiting long enough. It seemed like a waste to leave it up here empty handed. But we done what we could, for today at least. It was time to start heading home. I can't believe all this left. That all that's left is a barn. Yeah. Oh, God, it's dark. We should come back tomorrow a little earlier. I'd like to try talking to more of the locals. Sounds like a plan. I feel like the sun had been setting forever, but now it was nowhere in sight. The wooded mountains all around us were cloaked in a veil of darkness. There weren't any lights to help guide our path either, so we really couldn't see where we were going. Man, it's dark. Was this the way we came? We need to find our way back to the road. I, I think it's through... I think it is, though, since I remember we walked straight towards the barn. Oh, uh, class trip, look! What? Oh, it's the guy! He's not in the car. Oh, fuck. Now, some of the branches just beyond the small grove of trees, the inside lights of the tiny truck shone like a beacon in the night. That's the old man's truck! 
Yeah, it has to be. Thank goodness. I didn't much like the idea of getting stranded in the woods. That was something oddly fulfilling about getting out and actually doing something. Success, success or no, it felt like much more fulfilling, fruitful than moping around at home. I didn't care if this was a fool's errand. As long as I just kept looking day after day, I felt like I could move on. It wasn't hope, it was purpose. Psycho taught me that. Sorry to keep you waiting. Huh? Yep, yeah, he's not there. Wait, where is the old man? Maybe we, we were gone too long for him. I mean, it is cold, but maybe he had to, you know. She began scratching her head and blushing a bit, clearly embarrassed at the suggestion. Oh, yeah, maybe. Well, he left the engine running, so he should be back soon. Let's just wait for him. It's so chilly out here, though. My stomach's freezing. I'm sure he wouldn't mind if we waited inside the truck, right? That's true. Okay, then class reps first. Huh? No good, it's locked. Well, that sucks. Since we don't have much choice, let's just wait out here. 